Welcome to the Dankus Dungeon. Today we're going to be playing a rematch with our latest round of March of the Machine Commanders. This game is going to be extra spicy just like the last one and if you didn't catch the last one be sure to check it out here in the upper right. So what extra spicy means for us is that there aren't really any restrictions on what kind of deck you're going to build but any combos that you're going to use we encourage everyone to have their commander as part of that combo. And other than that people can get as nasty as they want. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Hey what's up, it's Jason again and I am excited to be playing Drana and Linvala once again. Let's see how it goes. Hi, I'm Eddie and I'm back playing Catilda and Lear. Hopefully, we can just keep doing our thing and stop those pesky Phyrexians from taking over. Hey, it's Matt again. I'm playing Flippity Dippity Heliod. Uh, we're gonna flip them over and try to storm off through some hate bears. Hey, Brent again. Playing five color Omnath. Trying to ramp out some seven mana, eight mana spells. Not doing so well, but we're gonna try it again. Let's go. All right, let's roll, everyone. I got a nine. Seven. Seven. Three. Cool. I will not be keeping. I will be keeping. I'm, I'm going to try it because I have a turn one Esper Sentinel. Other than that, I don't think it's worth it. Keep it. Everybody good? Yeah. Ish. I'm going to draw for the first turn of the game. I'm going to play a Scrubland and pay one white mana for an Esper Sentinel. Go ahead. Bountiful Promenade. Sure is. I'm just going to end this now. I'm going to sword the plowshare. You can have your one card. Are you kidding? Congrats, this you is paid. the hero we need. You, yeah. All right. After, after the last game, you I paid, said no. You paid, a, you paid one <laughs> mana to draw a card. Tall draw. In black white. That's actually pretty good, all right? Go ahead. I have a tapped Mystic Sanctuary past turn. I will draw for turn, and I will play a Marsh Flats, and I will crack it. Xander's Lounge. I will pass the turn. Okay. Untap draw. Play Swamp. And let's drop a Thought Vessel. I'll pass. Uh, I guess we're just gonna do a uh, tapped breeding pool and pass the turn. I have an Arid Mesa and I will pass the turn. I will untap, I will draw. I will shock in this Temple Garden to play one Arcane Signet and I will pass the turn. Untapping, drawing, thankfully drawing a land. Play Plains for turn. Uh, let's go ahead and Play my commander, I suppose. Responses? I will fetch. I have a Syndra. I have a mana drain. Okay, you get four mana during your next main phase. Yes. Yeah. Really good for him. Yes. If you get a white source. If I get a white source, we'll we'll see if fate gives me one of those. Uh, I am done. I will play this glacial fortress. And I will cast Katilda and Lear. And I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw, main one, I get four colorless mana. Yes. I have a basic island. No turn three Heliod flipped. Whatever, man. I have a Mystic Remora. Now I gotta decide if I want to just like spew off cards so I can utilize this mana or if I just am going to pass. Let's pass. I will untap. I'm gonna shock in a watery grave for turn. Shry Shroud Claim. I'll search my library. Not paying. Trigger. Yay! I'll search my library up for two forests. These are both forest cards. And then I will pass the turn. I'm gonna untap, draw a card, and Eidolon of Rhetoric. Everyone can only play one spell a turn. I'll pass. It's going great. Tap, upkeep, draw. Play this Sun Petal Grove. Pay four. Archmage Emeritus. <laughs> Swords to Plashers will get flashback until end of turn. And I will pass the turn. End of the turn, I'm gonna disenchant your stupid Eidolon. What a hero. I'm getting bullied this game. <laughs> Some character development right there. Some light seasoning. Uh, go to my turn. I guess I will pay for the fish, even though it's probably not gonna do anything ever again. There we go, real cards. Windswept Heath, Esper Sentinel. God damn it. It's fine, don't worry about it. Pass the turn. I will untap. I will play Windswept Heath for turn. White, blue, red. Nope, try again. You only have one green source. No, you have two green sources. Use one of those for green. Green, there we go. Green, green white. white, red, blue. 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 Did it. Fire powers combined. Yeah. And two life. And two yeah. life. You've done it. You've navigated an omnath. I have navigated an omnath. And then I will pass the turn. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. 
Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shoutouts at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and commenting down below all help as well and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. Play Swamp. I will pass my turn. We will also play Wind Swept Teeth and we will crack it. Damn, my Asper Sentinel is next. We're gonna shock in a hollowed phone. We're gonna go to combat Jason 2. The f <laughs> Okay. And Matt, a three. Yeah. And I will pass the turn. I too am going to turn my windswept teeth into a hallowed fountain. No wait, I forgot. I have worse lands to get. I'm gonna go get Glacial Floodplain. Amazing. Go to my turn. Uh, I'm not gonna spend another two mana on this. I don't need it. Draw for turn. I'm gonna cast my commander, Heliod, the Radiant Dawn. In response, I am going to flash in uh, to Fury, Mage of Zelfir. Sure. Heliod, the Radiant Dawn. It's a 4 4 legendary enchantment creature god. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return target enchantment from that isn't a god from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, look! Mystic Remora just died. What an amazing thing. That's gonna go back to my hand. Uh, I can pay three out of Frax in blue to transform it only as a sorcery. I will fetch my Windswept Teeth. And then I'm gonna tap this for blue, and this for green. You can't cast spells up. Which will turn into black mana at the end yeah, of my turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I won't tap. I'll draw for turn. We're in danger, by the way. Going to main phase, I will choose to look at the top card of my library. I will not reveal it. My land for turn will be Cascading Cataracts. Three mana, Chromatic Lantern. Trigger Esper Sentinel. I will pay the one. Okay. Three, Sword of Feast and Famine. Pay two to equip Sword of Feast and Famine. Six, six. Okay, I'll take six. On combat damage, he will discard a card and I will untap all my lands. We'll discard Commissar Severina Rain. Five, six, seven. For Lord of Bones, as long as your starting life total is less than or equal to half your starting life total, he is indestructible. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that card, except for its enchantment and loses all other card types. I will pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card. I will pay th Three for Lauren of the Third Path. Hilead's gone. Sure. And we'll just cast a uh, Bitter Blossom. Trigger is for Sentinel. Yeah, you can have it. Yay. I'll pass. Top upkeep. Draw. Shock in this Temple Garden. Pay six mana. We are going to destroy all artifacts and all creatures with power four or greater. That's most of them. Yeah, trigger is for Sentinel. I cannot pay, so you do get a card out of it. I'm going to float two. We'll do two blue. He will die, but Omnath dies at the same time. I'm gonna exile it, but it'll get command zoned, and I will create a copy of Omnath. Copy of Omnath. That's rough. Well, we're gonna spread the love a little bit. At you, Brent, three, four, you, and three, three, you. Okay. Take three. And I will pass. Sweet. Here I am with all of my lands. I will draw. Sure. Smothering Tide. <laughs> that was my draw for turn. <laughs> End step. I will go to discard, because I've got eight cards. I will discard Echo Vions. Pass the turn. I will untap. I will draw for turn. Trigger Smothering Tithe. Will not pay. Pre-combat main phase. I still get my Omnath trigger. I will look at my top card. I will not reveal it. Verdant Catacombs as land for turn. I will pass the turn. I'm gonna untap, upkeep. I will make a 1-1 one, one fairy and lose a life. And I'll draw my card. Trigger Smothering Tithe. Pretty sure you can just have it. Yay. Does anybody not have any blockers? Oh, everyone. Oh, oh, yeah, we're all open currently. All right, Eddie, take a 2-1 Vigilance. I gotta cast stuff now, so we'll drop a Cathar Commando, and I will pass. Paying for it. Okay. Uh, we will play this Passatio. As for Sentinel, uh, giving Swords flashback to that turn. Pay three. We're going to Mass Appeal, uh, drawing a card from Archmage Emeritus. With Emeritus trigger on the stack for you to draw a card, I'm gonna go ahead and pay one to sack Cathar Commando and blow up the Smothering Tithe. And I draw a card for each human I control, which will be four cards. Uh, three, four at you, Jason. Three, three at you. Two, two at you. Block with a fairy. Okay. Go ahead. Come on, lands. Any lands. Technically, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pay three life and play Seagate Reborn. Six. I'm going to play my commander again. Trigger. I'm going to get Smothering Tide back to my hand. 
Uh, I guess I'll cast the Mystic Rimmer I got last time. Down to seven pay cards. For the Mystic nope, you can draw that. Well, this ends my turn. And step I will fetch. Definitely more triumphs in here. Where are they? We will float one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll go to my turn. I will draw for turn. Omnath trigger. Arid Mesa land for turn. I guess I will pass the turn because not doing anything with these lands in hand. End of your turn, I'm going to tap Lauren. I'm going to draw a card and Matthew is going to draw a card. I'll take it. I could really use a land. That would be nice. Same, right. but you just drew me one, so thank you. I could, I could use not a land. I could help someone. That'd be sweet. I'm going to untap. I'm going to lose one life. I'm going to make another fairy and I'm going to draw a card. So we'll go to combat. I will punch Brent for two. I hope I get the card for taking the two. I'm going to tap to draw a card and it will also give a card. I guess it'll be Brent. Yeah, I, was like, I feel like he's honestly the best option. Well, let's just go ahead and cast an Aven Mind Sensor, and I will pass the turn. In response, I will fetch. Yeah, seems yeah. like a good plan. Sounds good. <laughs> I will uh, draw my card for turn. Wow, amazing. Land for turn being this Reliquary Tower. We will pay a white and a green. Katilda, targeting <clears throat> Swords of Plowshares for flashback. Swords, Hilliard. Trigger Mr. Grimmer. Q can have the draw. I will draw a card, and Heliod will die again. Uh, Kindred Discovery, choosing humans. Trigger Mystic Grimmer. Will not be paying. Yay. I forgot to draw from swords. Do it. Do it right now. Wow. Let's pass. Upkeep, I will pay for my Mystic Grimmer because it is cool. Hello Fountains, mm -hmm. paying one for Esper Sentinel. Mox Opal. Look at that Mox Opal, just chilling. Uh, I will recast my Smothering Tithe. I will then go to discard. I'm gonna discard irrigated farmland. I'm floating eight mana. Wow. That's my draw for turn. Omnath trigger. Cool. Glad this game hates me. Trigger smothering tithe for your draw for turn. Not paying it. Whoa, what? Okay. <laughs> I said what I said. I'll take it. Here comes Dockside. <laughs> <laughs> you know him too well. Triome. Two. Dockside. Seven treasures. Awesome. Nah, it gets better. It's not over yet. Is it finally time for the Nyx Bloom Ancient no. so you can have some mana? All seven of it, paying for both Remora and the Esper Sentinel. Calling Ritual. Float one in response. You'll get two from me, getting Better Blossom and a Fairy. Two from me, uh, Remora and Mox Opal. In response, we're gonna float blue, white, blue. That's and great. then I guess we'll go for the green as well. Two from each of you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In my docs, oh, I'll get one for myself. Awesome. Hell yeah. Two mana. Play this fellow our stone. In response, use one blue for a mystical tutor, uh, drawing off Archmage, yeah, using the true. green and the extra blue to pay for Smothering Tithe. Okay. Hold up. Mind Sensor. Oh, you could have only searched the top oh. four. Uh, I will be Mystical Tutor searching mm -hmm. in Mind Sensor, only search the top four. Uh, beast with that. Beast with that. Oh. Not bad. One mana for going to Leyline Binding, the uh, Kindred Discovery. I will pass. I'm going to untap and draw. Hey! Trigger Smothering Tithe. You can definitely have it. I'm gonna play an isolated chapel for turn. It's not isolated. Now it's isolated. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and this is where Eddie lives. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to combat first. We'll just continue beating up Matt. That's, that's what I'm doing this game, I guess. This is payback. All right. We will drop the Midnight Reaper. We will drop a selfless spirit. New spirit just dropped. Pass. And you get to draw your beast within. Yeah. Trigger Smothering Tithe. Pay the two. All right. I will play this Rejuvenating Spring. We'll cast this Talia, Heretic Cathar. So I guess I'm just going to get a flashback. Cast. Look at, look at the top four again. This said to Mystical Dude to look at the top four. Trigger draw from oh. Mindemeritus. Trigger Smothering Tithe. I uh, will not pay. Path. Path's pretty cool. Three at each of you. And then. That'll be it. Untap, draw. Ah, land for turn is Basic Island, which comes in untapped. Thank you very much. Submerge to Fairy. What's that say? If an opponent controls a forest and you control an island, you may pay Submerge without paying its mana cost. Put target creature on top of its owner's library. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna go to combat. During Declare Attackers, I'm gonna cast Mandate of Peace. Cast this spell only during combat, now that I can. Your opponents can't cast spells this turn and the combat phase. Uh, I guess in response. Force out Beast Within on the Omnath. Do you not have a Counterspell or something in hand? Us not casting spells means he's going for the win. Mm, I guess the best I could do is... Pull up the Smothering yeah, Tithe? Yes, we are the Smothering Tithe. Okay, targeting Smothering Tithe. Trigger Archmage Emeritus. Yeah, draw. I will trigger Smothering Tithe. Okay. 
I'll cast Force of Negation. The hard way. The hard way. You made him use three more mana though, so. You did do that. Uh, does Mandate resolve? Yeah, got nothing. Yeah. Okay. I literally got nothing. Here's where it gets tricky. We are going to spend one mana and two mana for Windfall. This player discards their hand and draws cards equal to the greatest number a player discarded this way. I got three. Seven. I got three. I have four. So we all discard our hands and draw seven. Just to prove I wasn't lying. <sighs> yeah, no, I believe. <laughs> I will trigger Smothering Tithe seven times on each of you. Yeah, can't pay. Yeah. Uh, I can. You sure can. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I figured you might. I get 14 treasures, but you paid 14 mana, so it worked out. Eight. Heliard. Trigger. I'll get Mystic Remora back because it's in my graveyard. I'm going to spend three more of it. Two life. Two. Flooper de duper -der. The board. It's returned. Two mana. Hullbreaker horror. Uh, Box dive and so as it enters, I will discard Prairie Stream. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce Avon Mind Sensor. Uh, Spellseeker. I'll bounce. I'll bounce Lauren just so it doesn't mess me up later. Yeah, I was hoping you're gonna draw your deck and overlook her. <laughs> I'll tap her to draw a card and also give Brant a card. Trigger Smothering Tithe on both of you. I'm not gonna pay. I assume he will. And she goes back to him. Spellseeker is gonna find me Prosperity. Prosperity is an X and a blue. Each player draws X cards. I am going to pay a blue mana. X will be 24. So we're all going to draw 24 cards. Uh, trigger Smothering Tithe 24 times for each of you. I can't pay. And I think Brent's given up at this 48, point, which makes sense. 72. Approach of the Second Sun. I will gain seven. And this will go into my deck seventh from the top. I can use one. Bond of Insight. Each player mills four. I get to return up to two instants or sorceries from my graveyard to my hand. I will return prosperity and mana drain. Brainstorm. <gasps> I've done it. I found Approach of the Second Sun. I will cast it. You gain seven life again, right? Here you uh, no, I just went. What happens first? What's the uh, order? If Approach of the Second Sun was cast from your hand and you've cast another spell named it, you win the game. Otherwise, put oh, it something okay. something. He doesn't gain the seven. He wins oh, though. That's he wins. Almost <laughs> winning is pretty cool. <laughs> and Matt kicks her asses once again with Heliod the Radiant Dawn in a slightly different way this time. Good job, Matt. And for everyone who is rooting for Matt to lose because he beats us so much, we did record one more game with these decks and I'll let you in on a little secret, he doesn't win. And if you're a Matt fan, sorry he does not go 3-0, but uh, he gets close. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.